He has waited for that so long. Waited that moment when the sky decided to spit the snow out. I don't understand why he loves the snow so much. But a couple of days later, the ground drunk them all until it gets pretty dry. The tree, grass, dirt, mountains. We were covered by white clothes took it off as if they revealed the mystical face. On the other hand, he is... Well, it's faster to understand if you watch him by your eyes. So, I don't have time. The sky is still kind of dark, but obviously, over the mountains, it's uh, sunrise already. So, I gotta hurry up a little bit. Now it is 6.30 in the morning, January 18th, Monday, yeah, that doesn't matter. So anyway, what I was gonna say? Yeah, it snowed about a week ago and the snow stayed here for two days but after a couple of days the ground swallowed them all so now it's pretty dry right here so I like snow yeah I really love snow but it's not that I grew up in the snowing country my you know the place where I grew up was just like a normal just normal temperature normal climate well yeah sometimes in the winter, it snows a little bit, but it doesn't stay that long. You know, it snowed and it stayed a day and it disappears. But when I went to America, uh, upper state New York, it was like a very, very heavy snowing country. Like, I, I don't know if it's heavy, but to me, it's it was like a very, you know, snowing, you know, beautiful. Sometimes it's tough to live, but and that was good, that was a good place to live for me. Yeah, but anyway, because of that experience, I like snow. I don't know the reason, but I just, I just like it, you know? Especially the mountains covered by snow. That is, I don't know, I just I just feel like a, I am attracted by that. You know, the cool, like a like chirpy edges, mountains covered by snow, or the heavy snowing, uh, heavy snowing small villages in in France <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds like very romantic but yeah I just like that kind of snowing vibes you know what I mean you know uh, when I decided to move to this place I have to make a confession well I was hoping the snow but it doesn't snow you know it doesn't even rain in this place it's pretty dry well Fitch is very comfortable to live but I, I was hoping you know it it would snow a lot ちょっと違うな。なんかね。例えばコメントであれなのよ。日本語を喋ってる動画、あ、姿が見たことないっていうコメントが来て。で、まあ、確かに喋ったことはない。まあ、ラジオでいくつか喋ったけど、日本語
僕のねあの祖父から譲り受けたねいキャノンのど何か知らないけど 75mm300mm のあの望遠レンズをもらってたんですよでまあもちろんこれ今のソニーだから、まあ、使う機会ないただアダプター持ってるんですよメタボンズの EFOE に変えるそれちょっと使ってちょっとこれ試してみようかなっていうでなんかゲロみたいなのがついてるんだよねこれなんかね別に臭くないんだよだってゲロじゃないと思うけどなんか汚れがついてるんですよゲロじゃないよだってゲロがどうやってここにつくんだっていうまあどうでもいいけどまあすっごい古いやつなんですよまたちょっとこれを使ってみたいのとあと俺が今写真でメインで使ってるレンズアサヒのペンタックスこいつを使ってやろうととりあえずえー、っとはいここですね私が住んでいるのここら辺ですねでもともと行ってみたかった山っちゅうのはこれなんですよ北北だけっつうのかなマウント北ですただこれどうやって行くっていう行くすべがない登らなきゃもう無理でしょっていうことなんでこっちこの八つ谷岳これだったら近くのほら近くのここら辺まで近くのこの辺まで車で行って撮れるかなっていう撮れるかなっていう思惑なんでまあちょっとやってみようか準備しよう Alright I think I packed what we're gonna use today GoPro drone controller lens 50mm prime lens and this is Canon EF 75 to 300 mil oh this space is for this camera So I will see you guys over there. Now he is dangerous. He just released the limiter which was preventing his many wars from going outside, from his mental world to this real life. Now he is able to speak with his way, his expressive style. Some of them are very controversial, which is not appropriate to speak on this YouTube. Words will be flowing wrath from his head, which makes editing so hard. Does he know about that? But I believe he also has a right sense to judge what to publish and not to publish in here. So that's why I have been suggesting him to write a book. I think I found the place where I can park the car. I think it's very cold outside because this is、uh, about 1300 kilometers away from the you know, ground, so not that high, but it's, I think it's cold enough. I'm gonna switch to the Sony camera from the GoPro. All right. All right. So there. Is mountains. Alright, l so what am I gonna do is go outside with some warm, nice jacket and take some photos and videos. Yeah, videos by drone. So I'm gonna take a walk around here, park the car right here. I don't know if I can walk. Just go outside and let's see what we can get in here. Yeah. Let's. Let's. The snow, which also can be interpreted as the blank space, it covers the part of mountain's face which is supposed to be seen, not able to see all. Maybe this is the true beauty of a thing. Because of that blank space which refuses to show all, we have to imagine the story beyond it. The beauty forms what it is with a blank space for itself. It should stay incomplete, which leaves a space that we can imagine. If the beauty is completed, there is nothing we can do. That means our right to join the art is deprived. So I think I'm 
done right here. I don't know if I'm going back home or going another place, but anyway, one thing is sure that is I have to pee. So I think I'm gonna find some stop the place, the store, that is where I have to go right now. This is an emergency. I have to pee right now. So the sign of a beauty. What about the travel? Don't decide anything, not even where to go, how many hours to stay. Just jump on what's in front of you. Get lost in a strange city. Not so many good things will happen. Maybe sometime you'll have a trouble. But also sometime you will happen to meet a totally new and fresh experience. Not knowing all, the blank space leads you to sense the sign of a beauty. So I stopped at the store to pee and get some food and water, coffee. I found interesting, cute, small, not village, not uh, this town, small town. And I think I'm gonna do some street photography. And also I found the train station. Hopefully I can get on the train and go to somewhere. Not, not so far, like uh, in 10 or 15 minutes. So that's my plan. But I don't have any backpack except this aperture huge box. I'm just gonna grab ASM3 and 50 mil water and cigarette lighter. That's it. And also, I'm gonna bring GoPro. Yeah. So, I don't know much about what happened after this, but I heard some. After this, he explored the town for some photos. This town was like very old and retro vibes. He seemed he loved it so much. There was a small and classic style train station. How old is all like he had to cross the actual railway on his hood. Nobody was there except him. The train comes every one hour. The most peaceful time passed by. And the train came. He just hopped on it, even though he didn't know where it was bounding to. In the train, there are only two passengers except him. When less people are on the train, it makes you think about why they're on this train, what they do for a living, what about the family, where they're going to. While you're spacing out, the matter, air, and light are taken away from where you are by some kind of force. And then he got off the train at the next stop. He really didn't know where he was. Probably he found something interesting or he met some people, I don't know. Anyway, he spent some time until the next train came. He didn't tell me what exactly he experienced there. Maybe he got some nice picture, or maybe not. But I think I'm gonna leave him alone this time. I'm just gonna let us have a blank space. And then, the sign of a beauty will get us. Today, this is all I got.